What is going on YouTube land? I am Chris Catalunya. Before we get into this review, be sure to check out my Instagram at Chris Catalunya with an underscore at the end. Go ahead and like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you'll know when I upload a new video. Fight the algorithm and help me get this channel to that 20,000 subscriber mark. I greatly appreciate it. Now, on to the shoe. Los Angeles-based boutique, undefeated, they're not strangers to producing collaborative Nike dunks. Having the Baroque biohack joints in 2005, the coveted splatter dunks from 2002 in which only 24 pairs were made, among other shoes. Now, present day, they revived the campaign themed Dunk vs Air Force One. On June 2021, they released the Canteen Dunks and the Ballistic Olive Air Force Ones, going with a military-issued theme. Two months later, we get a new Dunk vs Air Force One pack themed Five on it. I love the name of it. If you're a millennial or older, you probably remember riding in the car in the 90s with your parents blasting Luniz's hits. If you're younger, you probably are more familiar or more in tune with the eerie version created for the Jordan Peele's thriller, Us. It's us. They look exactly like us. While it definitely gives a nod to the musical scores, the name is really for the five different materials that are employed on the upper of the shoes. Before delving into the shoes, the five on it dunks, they retailed at a price point of $120 USD. Add your tax, VAT, and shipping as most of us had to purchase through the undefeated website. I'm sure they had pairs in store, but don't quote me on that. Now, they released online on August 6th, 2021, and it was a first come first serve system. I got my confirmation letter, though lots of people still haven't received their confirmation letter or their shipping confirmation and it's already August 15th, so I lucked out. With retail being $120, looking at resale via stock gags, goat, sneaker con, this isn't hitting hard as it probably should be concerning the materials used, hitting between $160 and $350 all dependent on the size that you need. The box is dope, you got the blue box with the Dunk versus Air Force One and the undefeated branding on top. Opening the box, you have more of that branding going on on white tissue paper that is double layered. Pulling the shoes out of the box, I do think that these are the best Nike Dunks to have come out in 2021. Let me reiterate, because I know there are a bunch of people thinking I'm crazy right now. Nike Dunks, not Nike SB Dunks. I rank like the Ambush Dunks in third, the City Market Dunks in second, and this along with the Firecrackers, the Five On It Dunks in first. My first impression, it was solely based on pictures. I was more sold on the canteen dunks over these, though in hand, it's truly a different experience. No doubt, the canteen dunks were of a great quality, but I really loved the use of the different materials on this particular shoe. And it's predominantly done up in this signal blue color, which is not something that I usually would go for, but it seems to work out on this particular shoe. The heel counter, the heel tab, the collar is done in a new buck material. Embroidered with white thread is the undefeated Five Strikes logo and then on the back of the heel tab is that Nike branding. The mud guard and the eye stays are of a faux snakeskin leather with some shiny bits to it and diamond shapes framing in the blue and black marbling going on. The vamp is of a smooth format leather with some plushness to it and perforated holes for breathability. Done in that night purple are the canvas quarter panels on both the lateral and the medial sides of the shoe, giving some contrast to the shoe. Also wrapping from side to side is the Nike Swish that is employing that light gray hairy suede. Some of the particles from that hairy suede swish are falling off, but I don't mind because it kind of plays into that aged look, which we'll talk about in a little bit. So we covered the five materials, right? The new buck, the snake skin, the smooth leather, the canvas, and the hairy suede. Check. Forward Ho, Nike did the good deed of supplying three sets of laces. All are of a cotton build and a flat shape. The default one was the blue ones that you see in this bag right here. I've already switched out the laces. The other two are secured in the right shoe 
in lock bags. Now, one is a white color and then the other one is an aged white one, which I'm actually not too much of a fan of. I liked aged laces, but the ones that they provide here look too new. Like the color is solid all the way through. I might just take these white ones right here, drop them in coffee or dirt to give them more of like a natural dirty look. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. Behind those sets of laces, we have the padded foam tongue where the foam is actually exposed on the edges, which gives it a more classic shoe feel. The top is a full leather and then the back side of the tongue is done in like this poly finish. Atop the tongue, we have that blue woven label with the white five strike logo. The lining is a padded poly fabric or a neoprene material done in that matching blue and it looks pretty good. I mean, I think I would have preferred it in like that purple color, but at least it's not white because Nike loves doing that shit for some reason. Speaking of purple, the insoles are lined with purple fabric and you have the Dunk versus Air Force One branding at the heel placed on a thin piece of gray foam no support here and it offers very little in cushioning though you can always replace these by bringing a blow dryer to it you just pull it out and insert something that you like i use soft soles for pronation support others use medical orthotics or those heavy lux which is like boost but in insole form just check out the link in the description box below the midsole is one of my favorite parts of the shoe aside from being provided three sets of laces and the built upper all right I don't really know what's my favorite feature on the shoe, but this aged midsole, it looks so good. Both the midsole and the outsole, they're made and molded employing a rubber compound, which provides durability, flexibility, and the foundation for this shoe. The outsole is featured in night purple and attains traction marks that are standard to the dunk. You have the circles up top, you got the grid at the bottom, and you have the branding smack dab in the middle. In terms of sizing, they fit true to size. If you don't know your size in Nike Dunks, definitely check out a mall retailer for some Jordan 1s, whether they're lows, mids, or highs, get sized up, and then pull the trigger on these five on it Dunks. Dunks and Jordans, they're built on the same frame. Comfortability, we kind of covered this already. They're just okay. They're definitely not like SB Dunks where those have the Zoom Air insoles. But once again, you can always replace the stock insole. Overall, the collaborative effort between Nike and Undefeated, definitely five of five stars. I think they hit this one out of the park. While blue isn't my favorite color, nor do I own too many items in blue, I think they knew the assignment. And I'm sure I would have loved these shoes in a different colorway. I'm not mad though. The five materials used on the shoe are on point. The leather, the snakeskin, the canvas, the hairy suede, the new buck, the three sets of laces that we are provided. Those are always gonna be a plus to me. The blue box too is also refreshing. If you were able to get these at retail, congrats to you. If you weren't, they're still reasonably priced on the secondary market. All right, guys, I think this is a good stopping point for this video. What are your thoughts on the five on it pack? This is a good drop, a bad drop. Do you prefer the Dunks or the Air Force Ones? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Go ahead and check out my Instagram at Chris Catalunya with the underscore the end. Go ahead and like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you'll know when I upload a new video. Fight the algorithm. And thanks for helping me get to 20K subscribers. All right, guys, I'm Chris Catalunya, and we will check you next time. Cheers. Sigue